right, we Xenobiology got is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Alright, what the I was oh! Help! Hey Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of the original Mass Effect. Hill here, and we are on the planet Novaria. And after encountering a garage full of geth, we went back and got Tally, our geth expert. And uh, she will be replacing Garrus. All right, so we are headed out into the wilds of Novaria. There are blizzardous conditions out here. And we are on our way to Peak 15. We've got a Hazard Level 1. Telling what we're going to encounter out here. This doesn't really seem to be very uh, blizzardous. These conditions. Oh, oh! Now that I say something, some snow blows across the screen. Okay, we are starting to get something on our sensors. Some sort of enemy presence. our shields with these rockets and I'm just driving right into them. barely survive that. Okay, let's there's some something back here that we can collect. An upgrade kit. Alright, let's go ahead and do a repair. And we're still relatively low on Omnigel, so hopefully I can do a better job the next encounter. All right. What is this? Inferno rounds nine and sledgehammer rounds nine. I probably should have just immediately turned that into Omni Gel. But we can. What? There's something else here. Another upgrade kit. Inferno rounds eight. Okay, we will definitely Omni Gel these. I believe that is it. Oh wow, our shields are already back at full capacity. Hold on, hold on. Let's do a save. Alright, we've got more Targets. Uh oh, what's going on? All right, 
Thanks for the, the geth warning. on this daggone shield. Alright, got them both. Alright, we've got some more stuff out here to collect. Alright, locked crate for easy decryption. Easy as a matter of opinion. Got it. All right, Karpov 8 pistol and a Punisher 9 sniper rifle. We will just Omni Gel. As we are low, relatively low on Omni Gel. All right, we've got something else here we're decrypting. Got it. All right, a Firestorm 9 shotgun. Avalanche 9 shotgun with Omni Gel, everything. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Let's see, can we save from here? Yes. There's nothing worse in this area. Uh, not doing a save and you get killed up here and you end up going back to a save all the way back at the, the garage that you started from. Nothing worse, people. So, save as much as you can. Save early, save often. Okay, we've got rocket turret. It seemed like there was one behind us, but I guess not. The one on the side of us. Uh-oh. Got them. Now it's a lot of geth up here. Nice. Is this is this a glass or a mirror? Whatever it is, it is a very nice design. I think it's glass. Okay, we got somebody else shooting at us. All right, this is the turret this time. Save early, save often. Early meaning before you get to the next enemy. Look at this. I, you know, that's the one thing I have to say about um, recording this on YouTube. At least for me. It, it gives me the opportunity to take this slowly and take in things that... Uh, I normally wouldn't have if I was just playing this on my own because usually the way I would play Mass Effect is that I'm just rushing through it, rushing through it to finish the game so that I would have a character that I could import into Mass Effect 2. You know, with different outcomes I would always, you know, like choose a different uh, Vermeer survivor or, you know, play at Renegade or Adept, not Renegade or Paragon. You know, I would just have different options and different saves that I would create. And it, it was always a rush to get through to the end of this. 
never taking time out to just really enjoy a lot of the game. Especially like with the planets and um, scanning them and I, I would never read any of those descriptions at all. So, you know, I'm, I'm picking up new stuff that after playing the game for this one anyway, Mass Effect 1, dozens of times, but many years ago. Uh, okay, this is not a good spot. That's been the wonderful thing about Mass Effect, is that every time you play it, uh-oh, no save available. Every time you play it, you know, if you're if you're doing it differently, you, you get a different uh, experience, different dialogue, different things will happen in the game. So it's always been exciting to play. that one. Alright, I think these other markers are inside. Alright, we're here. This should be peak 15. Save going. Uh oh. Seven Krogan. you to move up then. Oh, is that Liara unconscious? Liara, really? Alright, the Krogan are disintegrated. Let's see what else is in here. I don't think there are any crates or anything. We're going to leave Liara unconscious for the moment and save our Metagel. Is that a Krogan? Barrier up. Yep, it's a Krogan, all right. Warp. Bro. 
right, he is finished. have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. All right, incendiary explosive and high explosive rounds. Actually, Omni gel. Okay, it looks like the reactors back online. Liara is back. Uh oh. All right, these are not reacting to us. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Upgrade kit, high explosive rounds, sledgehammer rounds. We are going to omni gel those. All right, there's nothing here, and we have a storage locker. All right, well, here goes my first. Uh, Supply of Omni Gel. All right, we have a Striker 10 pistol, Edge 10, and a Solokov 10 shotgun. Um, we'll just do Omni Gel. I think Liara and uh, Tally may have needed. Some upgrades on the pistols, but we'll we'll be okay. All right, ladies, let's go downstairs or upstairs, wherever it is we're going. Uh oh, we've got enemies on the radar. Not save. Rep weapons ready, though. All right, tally. If you can hack that. Thank you. All right, I'm going out with a barrier. stuff touch you.
Biology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Alright, what then I was- oh! Help! <laughs> what have we got here? Uh, I don't know if sabotage would even work on this thing. That's nothing. Okay, gravitic weapons research. All right, don't know what that was all about. Looks like a storage locker here. A striker 10 pistol, a Naganata 10 sniper rifle, and a hammer 10. Alright, we're still trying to replenish our Omni Gel as much as we can. Uh oh. I hope I wasn't the only one that heard that. Okay, med kit. How many do we have? Alright, I'm gonna use one for Liara. And then collect one. There we go. Is that it? I think so. Uh oh! Put that barrier up a little late. All right, we've got another elevator. Come on, let's go. We're still going up. was a pretty big building though that we saw outside there all right can I save yes uh oh uh oh Shepherd must be for the station mainframe. Uh oh, what's this? What's that the sound? Is not extensive. It could be repaired. Oh, hell no. Okay. Power junction. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Try this. I don't really know the, the key to doing this, and I'm not sure if I have enough Omni Gel. Let's see what we can do here. 
the VI core appears inoperational, you can attempt to manually reconfigure the data banks or use OmniGel to repair the damaged systems. Oh, I can do this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the OmniGel, people. I don't like puzzles. I don't want to sit here struggling with this stuff. Alright. Core is reactivated. I think we barely had enough OmniGel, too. Looks like you're trying to restore... Help would be great. Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Yes. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened to you. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the lab? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require hmm. privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clear. Oh, come on, I'm a Spectre. Why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. 
All right, well, we have our work. User cut alert. Out for Landline us. connections Thank are you. disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Thank you, Mira. All right, we have our work cut out for us, and in our next episode, we will continue our exploration of Peak 15. This is Hill, and I'm out.